The Champions League is back and I think if we beat Manchester City we've got a great chance to go all the way. Hello and welcome to Club 6, episode 17 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you. We're at home to Manchester City in the Champions League first knockout round. And then we're away at Udinese in Serie A. Since you were last with me, we have only lost once and that was in the Coppa Italia to uh, league leaders Milan. Other than that, we've been in fantastic form all year. So let's get straight into the Manchester City game and uh, I'll uh, show you the team for that one in just a moment. Okay, the uh, team for the Manchester City game is Alban Lafont in goal, back four of Squiniar, Omar Bamadili, Bongiorno and Eugenio Carlos, Shotard at the base of midfield, Barella and Sambi Laconga ahead of him, Colombo on the right, Doku on the left, Raspadori as always up front. So let's submit the uh, team and go and give a team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is recommending if you carry your last performance into this match, we'll do well. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. So we will uh, pump the fists. No, in fact, we can't do that. We'll outstretch the arms and, uh, and agree with him. And let's go into the tunnel, do a quick tunnel interview. So you're in much better form than Man City. Do you have to be aware of complacency? Um, No, I think um, it's a different sort of challenge for us today. We have to be focused on playing our game and being clinical in front of goal. How big, an, a van, uh, how big of an absence will Stephen Jones be due to suspension? Um, it's a big match and I want the players that are available to play to step up to the plate. Uh, why have you not picked Mamar Gasparini? He's been in good form. Uh, he's just having a little bit of a rest. Okay, so let's get the uh, match underway and see if we can uh, get a good result to uh, take into the second leg against Manchester City. So early uh, signs are that the game is relatively even. It's screening out with the throw-in. So we've got the, uh, the first highlight. Barella into Sambi Laconga. Plays it wide for Doku on the left. Doku back to Eugenio Carlos. Bongiorno. Eugenio Carlos again into Sambi Laconga. Plays it to Doku on the left wing who goes for the ball over the top. Doesn't quite find its target. So Manchester City have it back. Harwood Bellis at the back. Bellingham. It's now Murphy. Foden with the ball over the top. Fabio Silva, but uh, Omar Bamadili clears up at the back. Finds Shotard. Eugenio Carlos to Doku. Doku back to Eugenio Carlos. Carlos infield to Sambi Laconga. Raspadori to Doku. Doku finds Raspadori. And Lorenzo Colombo makes it Inter Milan 1, Manchester City 0. And that is a very nice goal. We will watch the, uh, the replay. Interesting uh, colour football they're using today. And that is a lovely finish from uh, Colombo. Inter Milan 1, Manchester City 0. Six minutes gone. And we await the, uh, the next highlight. So let's encourage the lads. They're playing really well. So give them some encouragement. And await the, uh, the next highlight, as I say. 20 minutes gone, still 1-0. No further highlights as yet. Um, we have the edge on XG, but uh, both of them are pretty low. So not a lot to, uh, to shout about at the moment. The obvious uh, candidate for a substitution at the moment seems to be Doku. Uh, Barella to Skriniar. Oma Bamadili to Bongiorno. Shotard finds Barella into Raspadori. Colombo plays it through for Raspadori. 
The shot is saved by the uh, City goalkeeper and we'll get a corner, in swinger from Doku into the middle and the header is saved by Edison so it'll be a corner on the opposite side out swinger this time from Doku and it's headed away for a throw in but the highlight comes to an end so yes I think it will be uh, Doku at half time although he's actually uh, improving very slowly so he might save himself if he keeps that going it's actually going to be a toss up between Skriniar and Doku for the uh, the half time sub we'll have a, a think about that it is half time now it's Inter Milan 1 Manchester City 0 um, you're doing well we can definitely find another gear so let's try outstretched arms uh, nope so we'll point the finger and go with that and let's have a look at the bench and see which uh, option is best to uh, to bring off and do we bring off Bongiorno for DiMarco uh, I think not given the mental state of the two options to bring on in his place so it will be Doku and I think we'll bring on Yanis Antiste because he's uh, got a better mental state than Leandro and uh, mentals are massively important so let's go out there and try and uh, extend our lead in the second half so let's um, encourage and keep an eye on the fitness of the players as well as the uh, the mentals I think Skriniar needs to improve he is actually he's gone up to a 6.6 .6. and in terms of men uh, performance Bongiorno is the uh, the one who isn't uh, playing that well which at center back isn't ideal so I think we will take him off and bring on I'm going to say DiMarco and then the final substitution is going to have to be a fitness related sub and we'll go with um, can we do Eugenio Carlos we can if we bring Rodri on and swap them round so we can do that in a moment so Bellingham with the ball at the moment into Foden um, Lautaro with the shot right let's uh, make that switch around so DiMarco goes to left back and uh, Rodri goes to defensive midfield uh, Yoris Schottard in fact Barella might have to go into centre back that's about as good as we can do we've only got nine minutes to go we're one nil up and we've actually got a penalty um, I didn't see what it was for Barella with the spot kick and he scores so while we were making the sub we won a penalty or while we were making the tactical change I should say uh, eight minutes left it is 2-0 and that is a belting penalty along the deck Barella scores Inter Milan 2 Manchester City 0 have we done enough to uh, to win the uh, tie probably not yet on the Bamadili into Laconga Shotard to Raspadori Raspadori's ball over the top uh, picks out Colombo on the right Foden to Lacroix 
but Skriniar wins it back. Omar Bamidili into Rodrigo. Shotard to Raspadori. Colombo into the area. Colombo with the uh, the finish. And it is now Manchester uh, Inter Milan 3, Manchester City 0. Is this tie over after the first leg? It might be. Especially if we don't concede in the final three minutes plus stoppage time. There's four added minutes signalled. We're in that now. Can we hold on to a 3-0 lead? And uh, seconds to go. The answer is yes, we can. It finishes into Milan 3, Manchester City 0. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the uh, second match of today's episode as we face the uh, away game in Syria at Udinese. And the team for this one is Gasparini in goal, back four of Skriniar, Omar Bamadili, Carlos and Jones, Shotard at the base of midfield, Barella and Rodri ahead of him, Colombo on the right, Doku on the left and Raspadori as always up front. Let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is recommending the media have given you a lot of credit lately. Go out there and put on a worthy display. Um, no, I think we pump the fists and go, we're favourites for a reason. Go out there and make sure they're left in no doubt as to why. So let's go into the tunnel. Uh, what's the secret behind your good away record? Um... Hard work. Uh, does it make it easier to be without Sambi Lakonga for this sort of match? Um, we won't disrespect them. Uh, Mamal Gasparini has been in good form of late and starts again today. Uh, he's playing very well. So let's kick the match off and see if we can uh, get a win against a Udinese side who haven't won in at least five matches. And let's demand more early on. We have had slightly the better of it. We've had the first shot on target, but not highlight worthy. And... Eugenio Carlos wins it, finds Jones, Rodrigo into Shotard, Raspadori finds Doku on the left, Doku to Shotard, Doku gets it back, into Raspadori whose shot is charged down by Brescianini for a corner, in swinging corner from Doku, and it's headed away, Doku should keep this in and does, finds Rodrigo, Barella into Colombo. Brescianini tidies up. And the highlight comes to an end. But we have another corner. Doku with the outswinging uh, corner this time. Eventually it's cleared. Not sure what the need for the uh, goal line technology replay was. But we're well on top at the moment. Although uh, yet to uh, make that count on the, uh, the scoreboard. So another demand more probably is advisable. So we'll do that right now. Barella's not happy. Uh, he's not the only one. Although Doku now has the ball. Finds Omar Bamidili crosses for Colombo. And the header is over the top. So another chance goes begging. I think maybe an encourage might. Uh, might be more productive at this stage so we'll do that see what happens with that one they're happier with that so we'll go down that road for the rest of the match um, we'll start thinking about substitutions um, Eugenio Carlos's header off the outswinging corner is just wide I think Colombo needs to come off at half time so we'll we'll make that change it'll be the only one we make at half time 
So let's go into the dressing room, do a halftime team talk. Um, I'll agree with the assistant this time. So we'll ex in fact, we'll pump the fists and media have given you a lot of credit. Let's make that halftime change. So we are going with, what did I say we were going with? Um, Shotard, I think, needs to come off. He's playing well, but I think he's the least fit of all of them. Although, actually, Eugenio Carlos makes a good case as well. Carlos for Bongiorno. And Shotard for uh, Vapinski. So two changes at half time. And let's get into the second half. And we'll leave it as long as we can before we make the next and final change. Let's encourage them again. That seemed to work last time. And has improved the, uh, the mental condition of several of the players. Uh, Milan are two up against Spezia, which isn't good news. Uh, Lorenzo Colombo is, in fact, Barella, Oma Bamidili, Scriniar, and Colombo, and Doku, and Raspadori could all be candidates for the final change. I think we'll go with Scriniar, though, as he's a defensive player. So we'll bring on Dest in his place. And let's demand more one time in the second half. In fact, we've just lost Barella to injury, having made all our subs. Not ideal. We'll move Vipinski forward and we'll do without a defensive midfielder for the last uh, nine minutes or so. A draw in this game would be hugely disappointing, but given that we're down to 10 men, let, let's go attacking. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but we're going for it. And Doku with the outswinging corner. Bongiorno, ha in fact, it's on Bamadili, has smashed it home. And surely, surely that is gonna be the winner. I'm not going to bother with the replay. It's a goal off a corner. We saw what happened. Uh, we're into the last couple of minutes of the match. And there's four added minutes signalled. Uh, one of those is gone already. And it looks like we're going to hold out for a narrow 1-0 win. And indeed we do. It finishes Udinese 0. Inter Milan 1. I'll see you in a moment to show you the league table. And to tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, time now to take a look at the league table and uh, that late uh, winner against Udinese means we are in third position in Syria with uh, 55 points from 26 matches played. We're uh, 15 points adrift of uh, Juventus and just a single point behind Milan in second place. So let's have a look then at what is coming up on the next episode and we will come back obviously I'm going to show you the uh, second leg of Manchester City and I think um, given that we're unlikely to catch Juventus I will show you Milan so it will be Milan at home in Syria in the first game and Manchester City away in the Champions League in the second match. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.